Welcome everybody, it's your boy DJ Black Mark, Shay Diddy, and welcome to the Street Light Series. And today is a special day. Yes. Because we got two San Francisco legends in the building, San Quinn and Black Seal RBL Posse. What's happening? What's up with you, cousin? Oh, you know how we do it, man. What's up with you, Black? Man, good, man. You know, happy to be here, man. I don't, I don't think y'all understand how excited I was to get both of y'all in the same room. Because y'all pretty much introduced me to hip hop. Like I know Run DMC and all that, but from my era when I was born, first rap album I heard was Queen and Mess. Mm -hmm. Because I'm a baby. Mm -hmm. And so for me it was like, oh shit. And then RBL Posse just at the streets on lock and was right. basically slappers. My sister used to slap that all day long. So right. for y'all to be here, just thank you for coming through. Much love. Thank you for having us. I mean, yeah. <laughs> he's like, I mean, it is what it is. Yep, yeah, nah, thank you, man. I ain't been in here in a long time. It used to be turned the other way. Yeah. <laughs> no, you was here. We was upstairs. We was upstairs? Yep, on the fifth floor. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, it was. Oh, this yeah. What floor were we on? I didn't know what floor we were on. <laughs> they, they used to hide the floor. You know what I mean? <laughs> you had to get the key card or something like that. For real. Oh, yeah. We yeah. for sure be on lockdown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I was in there with Chewy. <laughs> Matter of fact, when it was in a whole nother building, remember, right. it was about a pier. Yeah. In Barcadero. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. You've been here. in the 90s. Yeah, a long time ago, before yeah. I was even here. It's, it's exactly. That's why you're the big cousin. Big cousin, right? <laughs> Feel nah, uh, for real, though, what's going, what's going on with y'all, man? What y'all been doing? Black? Uh, as far as me, man, just shows, pushing a lot of this merchandise, you know, yeah. doing a lot of licensing with our old music, you know. That's pretty much Independent game? my hustle, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, but so... You know, we all from San Francisco, mm -hmm. and pretty much the music scene is coming out of our neighborhoods. Like, I'm Filmo, Hunter's Point, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, y'all got Prezi over there rocking. Mm -hmm. We got Lil Yee and 40 Keys and everybody in Filmo rocking. Like, do y'all feel like y'all played a big part in that? Like, are they following behind y'all? What? Without a doubt. I mean, you know that. <laughs> well, yeah, Scooty, son. They were, right, right, right. He was in Shock the Party video on Scooty's, on, you know, on his shoulder. Oh, yeah. Uh, huh? I raised him, you know. Shut up. And his daddy used to beat me up. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. His daddy think he hot, though. Big Yee, <laughs> Big Yee actually think yeah, he hot with boy. Hey, I'm going to tell you, Big Yee, you not hot. It's Lil Yee. <laughs> For real, though. Yeah, yeah. You that, yeah, Yee think he hot. For real. You ought to see him, man. That's my else. God. Yeah, yeah but I'm, um, I'm proud of Lil Yee and uh, definitely 40 Keys. Yeah. Because I know K Keys from being in the street. You right. Know what I mean, when he was K Keys. When he's K Keys, you dig know what I'm saying? So to see him make the transformation and doing music and being real serious about it is good. Yeah. And uh, I ain't none of us bigger than the neighborhood. I'm, I ain't nothing but a film on nigga that rap. You dig know what I'm saying? <laughs> At the end of the day, and with no whole shit on my file. Right. I, that's all I. That's all I represent. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. Mm -hmm. it's good to hear anybody uh, coming up from where I'm from, and you know, Black on this point. He, I mean, Black put the whole city on. Yeah, I got on an album yeah. with Black and them when I was 14. The first record I did, I got on with RBL. Oh, so they tried put you on? Killers on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. Yeah. I, I did. Uh, <laughs> he tried yeah, to I eat us to... up on it. We like, hold on, man. <laughs> yeah, you bars? You're a little young 14, 15 year old or something. What's going on? Yeah, I was Killing 14. Us on it. Yeah. yeah, I was 14. I, I did. I used to be, I was like, it's my turn. You know, it was my turn yeah. to try it. You yeah. know? They was laid back. I came for, you know, I came for everybody now. I really yeah, wasn't supposed to be on there. <laughs> Uh, Jigolo G snuck me on that record because you know I'm from Central Street, right, right. Yeah. the way, and I was on there with YBG niggas, down the way niggas. You feel what I'm saying? So I really didn't know JT and them like that. You did, but I knew Jigolo and I knew Steve, uh, Dewey. You know Dewey, yeah, yeah Dewey cousin. Dude, they the ones who put me in the game. And Artie, Artie, Artie got murdered at uh, at Noy Valley. You mm -hmm. dig what I'm saying? But they the ones who put me in the game. Snuck me on there. At first, I was last, and JT wasn't having that. <laughs> <laughs> And JT, he moved me up, but I'm, I'm real thankful to JT and RBL because they put me on, you know what I mean? Yeah. Frisco niggas ain't no punk. Wasn't that back at a time when, like, HP and, and Filmo was beefing tough? Yeah, we stopped that, and I was a big part of that. I'm the one that had uh, uh, Skins and them come over there. I'm the, Me and Lonnie Green made that call over there, and, uh, yeah, they came through. I told them to come to Harbor, and uh, we squashed it right then and there. Wow. Yeah, I was a big part of squashing all that back then because uh, we knew we couldn't even bust no moves without having Phil Mo, Sonny, they all them involved. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Yeah, it was going on heavy, heavy back then. We was funking hard. And, uh, yeah, we, we <laughs> ended up squashing it. And uh, a few weeks later, we was at the Stone rocking it with GLP. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah it Man. was lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, yeah I, I, I didn't really, like, Chris older than me, like, Chris and JT and them, they had real, 
issues. You know what I mean? <laughs> Real issues. Real Somebody issues. from the point catch yeah. y'all somewhere and tighten you up. You know, you will get jumped in Saramonte. Long you, cabin everywhere. Yeah. It was going down. Yeah. yeah. You know, Real. San Francisco's so small, but mm -hmm. people don't realize there's so many, like, crevices inside. Like, mm -hmm. you know, San Francisco, what, seven miles by seven miles? Seven by seven, and yeah. there's so many different cliques and hoods within that seven miles, man. People don't understand, like, they think this shit is like a tourist city, which yeah, it is. Yeah, they don't realize we got projects in, in Frisco. Real life of, projects. You know, yeah, for real. Yeah, you make the wrong turn, you end up somewhere. You in the wrong you, place. Yeah. You end up on Oakdale, <laughs> like. <laughs> oh, shit. Exactly. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Yeah, like, <laughs> for real. You know what I mean? I mean, we got jets, man. Yeah, yeah. the shit. poor and the rich live hand in hand. So mm -hmm. you, you can't really determine where you at. You dig know what I'm yeah. saying? Mm -hmm. And we really a lot meaner than a lot of people because, they, because of the uh homosexual thing that uh you know what i mean with harvey exactly. milk and every day they automatically think about that which we you know we're not homophobic it is a gay district castro but you know we all not gay mm -hmm. nothing saying nothing against gays we're just saying that his brothers too this with the bullshit. you feel what i'm saying mm -hmm. and latinos and mm -hmm. chinese people especially them My <laughs> yeah that's yeah. why we really had to pave the way back then it was yeah. like man we had to make a mark for ourselves because a lot of people used to be a little shame they Go out of town they used to be saying like you know where you from um bay area and the first thing they think is oakland because when you say frisco they used to get to thinking like you know you from that other side you know castro area or something like that but you know we we rep that city with pride and you know detroit chicago's yeah. kansas cities we just like you know <laughs> we had to pave the way yeah and, and put it on the map you know what i mean for real so do you think we get the respect that we deserve around the industry like from everybody else i think now we do you know you got the uh you know like but san francisco uh, though now like i don't think we i mean nothing i mean chris, chris i understand what chris saying well, my perspective that it's the san francisco bay area nothing against the east bay kind of like they it's like the east bay rocking mm -hmm. together like oakland vallejo mm -hmm. uh richmond you dig what i'm saying i yeah. got peoples in all them spots but well i mean far as us over here it's, it's not a, we ain't getting our respect for our San Francisco, you know what I mean? But it ain't no real money like a mogul that could change nothing. Like, ain't no hundred million dollar nigga from out here, no way. Right, Putting right. a nigga in another tax bracket. Yeah, so when, when that get to happen, and then it's, then it's true respect as far as the city, we starting to get there. We just got to keep the unity situation, get the unity together and, uh, and, and let it prosper. But with people like Gazi, Gazi from San Francisco. So, I mean, he touching the whole industry. You dig what I'm right. saying? We definitely mm -hmm. a capital of the money, but far as the city of San Francisco, we could be doing a, lo a lot more. For, you know what I mean? Far as like, mm -hmm. I really see it's like an East Bay thing going on when I look at it, and I'm not being biased. I just see Vallejo, Richmond, and Oakland kind of like sticking together. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. They really don't involve nobody from the city like that. You know? But is it? I ain't mad. I'm just seeing. I'm calling it how I see it. You feel yeah, me? but why don't you think That's that true. we stick together like that? Because Everybody, like, San Francisco got a lot of talent. You get what I'm saying? Like, especially coming out of our neighborhoods, the hoods, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like, but we just can't get over that hump. It's some turf politics. Man, it's real on. issues. Like, issues going on. It, People done lost a lot of, you know, us losing Mr. C caused a big split over there in Hunters Point. So, and then Fillmore got their own politics. And it's just like the turfs done broke downs in the many sub turfs and mm -hmm. clicks and, the, you know, so it done broke all the way down now to where it's like it ain't that support like it was. And we first came out, that was like the strongest, you know what I mean? That it was when everybody kind of supporting and sticking together. You, you can't really get that no more. Right. You know, it's, it's, it's done broke down with everybody doing their own thing, everybody rapping. Nobody want to support the other clique, uh, turf or whatever, you know what I mean? So uh -huh. it's kind of hard. You yeah, know? it was different when y'all was coming up. You like, had to have money yeah. to put an album out. You know, any clown could put a record out right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. A nigga get a computer, exactly. you know, put a, set a mic up, and next thing you know, he, mm -hmm. he big. He on the Summer Jam stage. You know, <laughs> you. Yeah, cool. you know what I mean? I can't even borrow a ticket to get in. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, but uh, real when we started, you had to have some money. It was $100. Hundred dollars an hour, studio time. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? So you got to have yeah. some cheese. And like he said, with all the, um, it's really like the Willie Lynch theory. You dig what I'm saying? I don't want to start preaching in here, but right. east, west, north, south. You dig uh, when when you break down the separation. When you separate anything, like the uptown, downtown thing mm -hmm. in Filmo. When I grew up, we was just Filmo. You mm -hmm. dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I remember when uptown, downtown started. It's kind of with y'all era yeah. with Sky, yeah. with, with Black Mark and Shay and y'all. It started with y'all. You feel what I'm saying? Where it started getting separated. You know, I'm, I remember being in Juneteenth, they like, uptown, downtown. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And that shit turned into something. You know yep, what I'm saying? Yep. Now it's, it's uptown and 
it's some people in Uptown that don't like it. people in Uptown. You dig what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's, it's starting to get bro broke down, broke down even more. Mm -hmm. uh, I think with finance, finance changed a lot of different things. You dig what I'm saying? Because yeah. when you put two groups of people together that act like they got an issue and it's about some money, and you say, I'm giving a brother from KO and a brother from Divisadero a check to be around each other, and do some music, then they gotta shut that shit up. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah. you eating off of it. You dig when you get to feeding people, you you could change lives. You dig what I'm saying? Or when they end up in the penitentiary, it might be a brother from Big Block they end up in there with a brother from West Point, and they was added on the street, and then they gotta stand back to back in that pen of hoochie, and huh. then they gotta be from Hunters Point. So circumstances change things, you know. And uh, finance though, you dig what I'm saying? So it'll come, it, it'll come, as long as we know not to use our events as a platform for violence. Right. Okay. You know what I mean? Right. So if I invite some people out and I, I want to do a show and it's six days, uh, six other days out the week for you to catch the person you're looking for, don't wait till I gather everybody peacefully and kill a nigga. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's nonsense. Like when they killed Jay Rich in my party. Uh, and, you know, little dude, Thizzle did it. He dead now. Everybody dead I'm talking about. so But the police just really, like, lifted a ban off of me. That happened in October 2001. The police in San Francisco just got off of me in 2015. Wow. About that okay. night. Yeah, I ain't threw a rock at nobody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they, you know what I mean? I didn't have nothing to do with it. You dig what I'm saying? But yeah. I'm an example of why I would say don't use our events as a platform for violence. You dig what I'm saying? So it's good. Uh, we'll get there. We just got to have them principles. You know, some of the OGs, if they see a youngster moving, they got to say, hey, man, don't do that. You dig what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. you're going to ruin something. For everybody, especially with all the rappers it is now. It's a rapper from every block. Right. So everybody should have some understanding about letting that pass. You feel me? It's funny you say that because Filthy was up here a couple of weeks ago talking about how he can't do a show in Oakland because the police yeah. be shutting it down every oh, time. Yeah. And I feel mm, like they, it's a part of the reason why yeah, area rappers list. and Frisco rappers. There's no place for here. people to do it in Frisco at all. Mm -hmm. Like, let's be mm -hmm. real. <laughs> yeah. But even trying to do it in Oakland, it's going to get shut down by the police depending on what Quick. your name is mm -hmm. or who your crew is. And you know what I mean? Where you from? Right. Which is fucked up because you basically shutting down opportunities for rappers. Well, once they know that we know how to coexist amongst each other and we can police ourselves, mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? Right. And we'll we'll be able to do things like that. You dig what I'm saying? We can tell the police going about your business. We gonna handle this. You can't shut down no filthy show, right? Because we gonna stand around filthy and let him rap. You dig what I'm saying? But long as every man for himself type of mentality in life, I don't, I don't care mm -hmm. because I'm trying to get on. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know it's a crabs in the bucket, but like I say, with finance and opportunity and unity and common sense, it'll come together. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it wasn't as hard for y'all. No, nah, we we couldn't go to Oakland. Chris and them made it. Chris and them had to set it up to where <laughs> we would have to be able to go to Oakland. We we yeah. get, we got jumped in Richmond. My first show, we yeah. got molly uh, yeah. in Richmond. What? Yeah. What? It was going they down. trying to kill us over here. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, <laughs> I seen JT come off the stage with the mic. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, man. what's going on? They, I got yeah, they PTSD was it from that shit, man. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you, we in the Richmond mm -hmm. Auditorium, man. Chris and them there. It's Master P. It's an all. It's like. Every rapper in the Bay Area there. Big lineup, right? Yeah. Sean Richards threw it. <laughs> Trey B. Lowe, brother. Rest in peace, Trey B. Lowe. I love you. But um, Sean threw it, right? So uh, we got the nerve to be in. They already done jumped on everybody from Hunter's Point. You feel God. What I'm Chris and them still was there. Because Hunter's Point was kind of separated. You feel mm -hmm. me? Yeah. It's Oakdale. They was like, they were sitting in the crowd. Then, you know, Filmo coming there on that bullshit. Like, Filmo! Filmo! Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, Look what yeah. happened, though. JT rapping, doing the hard way. I'm on the stage. I'm 14 mm -hmm. years old. It's my first show. Bro. <laughs> Swear to God, nigga. Look, what happened, though? Nigga, them niggas went to the back of the thing and congregated. No, they was going, projects. Them North Richmond niggas. Mm -hmm. Projects. They went to the back. They came together like butt cheeks. And they did. They went to work on us, man. Wow. You feel me, niggas? Mm -hmm. We got back to the hood. And this is my first instance of going anywhere. 91. Uh, niggas like, nigga, I seen you running. Nigga, they bring niggas ready to fight each other in the hood. <laughs> Kid dog and all. Like, I see your bitch ass running, nigga. Niggas got Adidas prints yeah. on their face. I think they put pig skins in the hospital for weeks. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? We did this song with Master P. Pig skins wanted to kill me and JT and them. <laughs> Fuck Master P, nigga. And Richard, nigga. I say, man, niggas, it, 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 it happened. But mm -hmm. what else you want to song with Master P? Just like with Chris and JT and them, squashed the Frisco thing. When we did the thing with Master P, it kind of, you know, it, yeah, it broke yeah. that down. But still, that's North Richmond. They they tuned us up. We came over there on that Filmo bullshit, and you feel me. And I always heard about Filmo whooping ass. So I'm mean, I'm like, I'm thinking, oh, we finna put it yeah, down, bro. man. Yeah. Retreat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. Though. They was shooting at the board station. 
<laughs> you know, nigga, was going to the bar station. They was shooting the bar station, man. It was, oh, no, it was that, bad. That was, man, that was bad. It was going down. You was, was out there too? Oh, yeah, yeah, quick. We yeah, was all was behind us. We was back, backstage, and everybody, we, JT was on. We, we all was on the stage together. We peeking around the curtain. We peeking around the curtain. And I just seen JT jump with the mic stand into the crowd. I'm like, wait a minute, is that, that's film on fight? I'm like, what's going <laughs> and the uh, OG Rid North Richmond dude like, bro, y'all post right here. Yeah, they're all of us back <laughs> up. And, uh, I was there. Was like I was on stage with them. Him. He was like, Shaking man, like post a up. OG dude. Yeah. He was like, man, y'all stay right here, man. And my North Richmond partners, man. You don't want to go down there, man. For real, stay right here. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, and it was going nasty, down. I'm like, bro. oh, man. It like, was it's nasty. going down. It was nasty. Man. It definitely was. Mm -hmm. So we had to fight through that. It wasn't no Twitter and Facebook. You couldn't have no Instagram friend where you know somebody. We barely knew our cousins from across the way. You dig know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So you might have had some family out there at that time, but it wasn't none of them social media networking sites to where you could know people and know what you're walking into. You know, so, we, you know, we had to break barriers to be able to go to Oakland. Right. Anyway, Oakland was You had really, to talk to a nigga like, hey, yeah. Man, yeah. It's cool if I come over and do a show, man, with all due respect. <laughs> man, they still are yeah. trying something. I mean, I remember we was rapping at the Henry J. Kaiser, me and JT and them, and the Oakland niggas got to throwing, throwing our CDs back at us. Man. Believe me, man. Wow. It's good where how it is now, Hasta Bay Area. Believe me, we we have to do some serious shit to lay yeah, the foundation of where it's at right though, now. Cause yeah, I remember we, even at all the concerts used to jump off. Oakland used to we used to go in there with our little Frisco jerseys on. <laughs> they used to go down. Yeah, they gonna run you man. out of there. Six nine yeah, village. They used to try to, yeah. <laughs> man, what? Oh yeah, they used to. <laughs> The colors, I still I don't, don't even Frisco. I don't even know. I'm still kind of traumatized at the Oracle Arena. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even go in that motherfucker. Still. That's serious. Real, man. I'm trying to shoot in the parking lot, man. I, yeah. that, man look, I don't even want to get to touch saying too much, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah, but I don't think you know what I mean. Yeah, a lot, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying yeah. for us to get the for to get to where it's at now, which is very good with the young HBK dudes and how rap is and how people could kind of coexist and party and stuff like that. Uh, it, it's good. Just like it was peaceful last night, right? Didn't oh, yeah. Get, yeah. Outside Everything, of the door yeah, getting yeah, rushed, yeah, right? Good. I heard the door got rushed. I don't know nothing about that. Man, I heard about it, man. <laughs> hey, I, I wasn't there, you know what I mean? I just heard that I heard the door got rushed, but that's, I mean, that's that's that great. Nothing, to that's me, that's get great news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About, you that's usually, the, that's, that's, that's the worst that happened? happened? Yeah, yeah, you man. usually hear about a body or something like that. Right. And from our era, which was totally ignorant, like I say, using the event as a platform for violence, you know what I mean? So it's good where it's at now for us. The whole Bay Area, and we definitely want San Francisco to be up there. If it's Lil Ye, if it's Lil Prezi, uh, whoever it may be, it's good to see Hunter's Point on because Christian was like the main ones from Hunter's no, Point for a long right. time. Like y'all was the last time. ones I remember coming out the point right. that really made some noise because mm -hmm. they gangsters over there. Them it took really a minute. Violent. It took a, a minute, and then G Val kind of made a little noise. Oh yeah, and it's like nobody stay consistent though. That's the only problem. You know, they just they ain't really like just running it up like how Mazia doing. He just constantly collabo tapes, constantly dropping the mixtape. They kind of just drop a song or a, and kind of and lay back, fall back for a minute. You know, they just got to stay consistent and flood it. You got to flood the game. Be in love that, with really. that rap. Be in love mm -hmm. with it. But see, like when y'all was doing it, when you put out a tape or a song, that was all we had to go off of for a long time. For now, a year. You know, yeah, but now year, like we got all social half. media and shit and internet, mm -hmm. you got to put out something damn near every day to stay hot. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Microwave. Microwave. Yeah. 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 So it was like. Yeah. It, we had soul food dinners jumping out. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> more yeah, like, more time a, on music, more yeah. time with the producers, more time in the studio. Now it was like quick. You go in the studio, an hour, you got it out out and floating around, and this is on the radio in a couple <laughs> days. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, the, the, so, the, 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 uh, the lifetime of an album is very short lived. Right. You know what I'm very short. Yeah. So it's like, I don't think it's like they not staying consistent. I just think like, shit, it's hard to keep up with that kind of. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah. how do you mm -hmm. keep up with that demand? Like, shit, nigga, like, I just put out a song yesterday. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, right. And I got to do it again tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. But you know what niggas are doing? Like, you look at Drake, he do 100 features. Right. And then... On different platforms, kind of like, that's true. Drake. Yeah. yeah. Like, can, true. Shit. Yeah, yeah. I hear what she's saying. It's like, that with the networking and uh, networking, like, get on his song, get on his song, keep the thing going. It's just, will it be in the microwave age? Even look at Dr. Dre, though, right? I'm going to tell you this. Less really is best, though. You feel what I'm saying? Stevie Wonder, people like that, mm -hmm. they stick around because they not flooding the market. You dig know what I'm saying? A lot of people run out of gas. Right. Yeah. And then yeah. I'm, I mean, if you okay, it's good to keep putting them songs out. 
I don't know all these 40 songs no more. I remember before 40 would drop an album and I wouldn't know it, but he no, triple exactly. album thing. I, don't, I ain't listen to all that. I ain't listen to all that, man. <laughs> you know, and I ain't no disrespect to 40 that if, if it was somebody else. So right. it's like, uh, I think with better promotion and marketing, McDonald's still got commercials. Yeah. You hear what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's really in the promotions and marketing of any product. You dig what I'm saying? It's how you promote it and market it and how you get it out there and shove it down their throat. Because some of these songs that we think is doing real big, they ain't got no 155 million views. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So that means that record still ain't reached its full potential. Yeah. Potential, yeah. yeah. You hear what I'm sure. saying? So you, you, it, it's, 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 you know, it go both ways. Either you got to hurry up and do it, or you could get what you got and push it and push it and push it to the limit and hire promotion and marketing companies like Audible Treats and different people like that. That's, that's gonna open up and get you more and more views. You dig what I'm saying yeah. on the song. So it's really in the promotion and the marketing of a record. People be like, "Well, that's old." But I ain't heard it. You dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. People think yeah. everything on the computer. You know, I'm, I ain't, I don't got iTunes or none of that. Yeah. I still want a CD. You dig what I'm saying? It's people that don't touch that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Well, you still need to get it out there. Somebody that haven't heard it. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, they ain't pressing them. No hard copies no more. Yeah, that's oh. out. Every time yeah, you get in the car, right. somebody like, where the I score that? Yeah, nigga, exactly. I ain't got no I score, man. I still use. You got a CD. <laughs> yeah, and the quality of it is not the same. Yeah, I mean, you gotta I mean, put the I score in. Then if the shit start yeah. tripping, it start static. Yeah. Now the new iPhones ain't even got the fucking uh. Yeah. The yeah. headphones, yeah. You gotta yeah. use the adapter. I'm like, yeah. I got time for that shit. You yeah. can't. But the only thing is, right. with the new age, you can drop like a hundred songs on a flash drive and be like. Yeah, you know I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. It's it's pros and cons to it. I can't be a super dinosaur about it. But I do listen to the quality of the music on a, on on a, me and Kamisha was listening to some. I was like, a CD sounds it sound better when you play it when you play it off of, when it's digitized. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And it's mastered right and everything. Yeah, know? exactly. They, they ain't really mastering it right. Yeah, yeah. Don't mix and master either. We used to really play to get our <laughs> records mixed and mastered because mm-hmm. you competing with you competing with me. Like that's why Atlanta records sound real good. People be like. Why? Why them Atlanta songs? They they ain't saying nothing, but it sound good because they getting it mixed and mastered. They spending yeah. three hundred dollars to mix a song, mm-hmm. yeah. master yeah. a song. It's, it's major engineers down there. You did the sonically sounds right. sound good. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So, see who who's you fucking with out the point right now? Like who you got your eye on? Are you pushing anybody? Uh, besides my own groups uh, and artists like AR and uh, the Hardheads. Uh, I mean. I, Ain't too many people peaking right now as far as the city. I like Lil Yace. I like, you know, uh, Lil Yee, you know. Uh, and that's pretty much it right now. G Val, he's nice, you know. Yeah. But ain't too, uh, I like Showbanger too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? But uh, the point, mm, we need some more people to really kind of stand up. It's just a few. I like the little Oakdale cats too. What's uh? What's, I see, I see, a, I see, I, run them up. Uh, yeah, I like. Them. <laughs> I see, run them up. Yeah, they, yeah, they, 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 they raw. Yeah, I like they raw what? right now. Yeah, them boys is. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they, they need hard. some exposure. You What's know. What's her name? What's his name? Ice, Ice, and who else? What's the other one though? Drew B's. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I know. I yeah, know. Them, they dope. I like them. I'm, I'm, I'm rocking with them right now. You know. Yeah. <laughs> How about yeah. you, Quill? Who you got uh, coming up? Galaxy Adams. Oh yeah, Galaxy, my uh, my son, Lil Quinn. We used yeah. to call him Lil Quinn. Lil Quinn, yeah, he ain't Lil uh, Lil Quinn. He Galaxy Adams. I'm a grandfather, man. Is that right? Yeah, I'm a grandfather. Granddaddy mm-hmm. Quinn, though. My grandson was born <laughs> on April 27th, mm-hmm. 2017. Eight pounds, four ounces. Aww. Harlem Quincy Brooks. A little Harlem is my is, grandson. Man, man congratulations, yeah. my nigga. Thank you, thank you. Is that's he big, still producing? Bro, that's big. Huh? Is he producing? Uh, he he a rapper. He's a rapper. He, he was actually, on the Amso Filmo. Oh you know, wow! I sent Black Mark a record uh, called West Side that he on the hook. He actually assigned a burner to burn one entertainment. Wow! So uh, he he he's pushing. Of course, you know Lil Ye, yeah. Uh, Lil Money Bags, Pete. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Lil Cecil. Yeah, Cecil. Uh, Cecil. Dope, uh, dope. Yeah, I seen Cecil Cece. with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I seen Cecil yeah, with you. Uh, no, he, he's kind of going up with that. Uh, yeah. That chose up record. Yeah, semi auto. He just ain't real film on nigga. He be saying anything. Anything. Say anything. That should be working. We did a show with him a couple weeks ago. It was going crazy. It was going crazy. Oh, you you DJ the show at the Brick and Mortar? Yep, yep. Yeah, you did good. I liked it. That I like to see us sticking together. Uh, Gunner goes global. Uh, Money bags, peace, Lil Yi, Galaxy Adams. Uh, who else? Um, of course, Forty Keys. You dig what I'm saying? 
Uh, Dust Santana, you know, Dust Santana. We sticking together, for real. Like we do got a lot of niggas over there, man. But and we sticking together. It's it's about the unity. I mean, I done been with Player P. Player P and him is out. What I'm saying is this, man. If uh, don't you know, it's one film on. Let's get this money. Let's do this music. You know what I mean? Everything else is uncivilized. You know, some people you ain't got to sit down and eat a hamburger with a nigga. You dig? When it's time to. Go be filming one of the event. Let's go be filming one of the event. You did? Yeah. Ain't no back door. No murder, no back door. You dig what I'm saying? If you're going to go to the show, go to the show and go stick together. And then let the other six days out the week. If you want to chase somebody down and, and uh, partake in that, that nonsense, you dig what I'm saying? Do that then. But we ain't even financially stable enough to do that. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So we definitely, we, are, we losing our community rapidly. You dig what I'm saying? Because of the gentrification and everything else. So all I see is uh, I'm rooting for every one of them young niggas because they just, a, you know, they're a reflection of me. You dig what I'm saying? I wish I was doing more uh, myself financially for them. You know what I mean? But, but we'll get to where we need to get to soon. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So so the million dollar question for you, Quinn, you and Mess, y'all going to do another album, man? I seen you post something about it mm -hmm. not too long ago about dropping another explosive mode or something like that. Mess got to come outside, man. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I mean, I did an interview uh through Queen Bid, she hooked me up with a dude in uh, Detroit. I ain't gonna say his name because he a sucker now. You dig what I'm saying? But <laughs> his name Doc Hicks. He, 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 he a sucker. Though, you know what I mean? Oh, so, man, Queen can not hold his tongue for I, shit. Uh, <laughs> he gonna tell you exactly what this, what he thinking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he did some backdoor ass shit though. But, but really, I, I had a good interview. I didn't say no slander about Mess. And I'm really, I'm dead serious about this. I want Mess to come on home. You right. feel me? Ain't nobody gonna do nothing to do with the whole neighborhood like him. You feel me? I done talked to Floss and KO and everybody. Like, he need to come back and let the kids see him because of the talent, because of his talent. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, he is not working for the community. He's more of an asset to me than a liability, but not not being in the cut like that. He got to come on the front line and get out here. We could get some money together. We could put together some things where the kids could piggyback off of him and me and go to Kansas City and go to Nebraska and go to Texas and go to these other cities and states where we selling records, where people know us in Seattle. And, uh, and and get some real money. You dig what I'm saying? And that'll also help the the, the, the non-unity thing because when you take people out of their comfort zone and put them on a plane, you dig what I'm saying? We got to stick together yeah. there too. So he definitely is needed, and I'm praying for him in the highest. You know, he got tightened up up there in Reno because he cut his filmo legs off. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That wouldn't have happened to him if, if he was if he wasn't straddling the fence. You dig what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, I'm I'm really rooting for the dude to come back, but he got to want it himself. Right. You know, fear is a uh, is an emotion that comes from the devil. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> God is God is not behind fear. You dig? you could be cautious, but you can't be scared though. You feel right, me? right, right. Yeah. So it's not out the it's not out the question. Like not at all. Not we at all. We'll come together with him. Man, we got good history, good music together. We could tour. You dig what I'm saying? Definitely. We could go get some money, and like I say, it could equate to something else happen for the youngsters up under us. If we could come together and go ahead and do a film on tour and get Gunner, Gun, Gunner, and a player P and you feel me? And Cecil and you dig what I'm saying? Right. Some people that probably usually wouldn't sit down with each other to get on an airplane and go to Seattle and, you know what I mean, to the Central District to go to Texas and, you know, go to Kansas City to the Dime Block and all these places where we already been going to get money. It, it'll be good because they love They love mess. You know, he, he did more good than bad. He just, but when you try to be, uh, the, when you want to be the elephant in the room and you isolate yourself, you don't allow yourself to be around your people to say, hey, man, Cut that shit out. You feel me? So <laughs> he, he trying to be somewhere high so he, can, he can't get his coattail pulled about the whole crimes he guilty of. You feel me? Right. And, I mean, we ain't going to do nothing but discipline him and get him back right. <laughs> ain't none of us perfect. You feel me? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it. I, I ain't, you know, in the best way. It's like, you know, you're supposed to, uh, in the penitentiary, before you go out there and get your whole car whooped, your, one of your homies gonna whoop your ass. You feel me? That's yeah. true. Yeah, you supposed to discipline your own. You dig what I'm saying? So we better than the Reno niggas beating the brakes off of it. <laughs> right. You know what happened with that? Like, why did that happen? Because he was scared. You feel but me? Like <laughs> Bottom line, oh. I'm gonna tell you. Look, if he was up there with home record with me, with you know, if he didn't cut his legs off, even if it was Hunter's point before it even got to that. Me, Blackton told me many times, Black is my mentor. I was coming to Black. We trying to put Frisco together. Mm -hmm. And he was like, man, you need to get cool with dude, man. Let that shit alone. You feel me? Yeah. I, that, that was like 2010, Black was telling me that. Mm -hmm. But long as dude be a separatist, man, and keep himself away from that, he get up there, and then that happened to him. Because you by yourself. You're isolating yourself. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Yep. Your homies ain't going to let that happen. 
when he was up there in Seattle, when the mic got snatched. See, the mic got snatched because he acting like a blood. Yeah. And he disrespected Cribs. But if he was a player from Frisco, he could say, what's up, blood? Hey, cuz. Yeah. And it's who? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> somebody come up there and say, cuz. Yeah. Like, I'm going to beat right. the blood. I'm going to beat the blood out of this big six foot 12 nigga, man. That's real. Niggas though. looked soft up there. I mean, juice looked like a deer in headlights. <laughs> <laughs> That's real. Though. So what ain't over for him, even though that shit was like on video, like I nowadays feel- like, we were just talking about social media and shit, like and now, nigga, if you trip and fall at the wrong time, like it's your over. career over. Man, you better bounce back up and keep he going. With the right motherfuckers, he got some get back. If he man, come back man, home, yeah, he come back home. He, he good. With Quinn and them, he back fucking with Filmo. He he definitely got get. Believe back. me, the whole hood ready for the war, style. man. Shit, look how many motherfuckers jacking his style. I think Mozzie, Mozzie's a mess, oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, exactly. Mozzie exactly. ain't nothing but Messi Marvin, a new Messi Marvin. That's all Mozzie is, man. I never thought about yeah. that. That's Think crazy. about it. That's so yeah. crazy. That's, yeah. Use your brain. That's who it is. <laughs> that's how, that's all Mozzie is. Yeah. I asked him, though. Yeah. He told me out his mouth. He said, man, I grew up on mess. He told me why. You feel yeah, me? When yeah, I was out there, yeah. I was, yeah. when, exactly I was looking I was for mess because I thought they was the ones that made him a blood. <laughs> so I went to Oak Park by myself. And it, it wasn't him. <laughs> <He said, "By laughs> G-O-D. Yeah. Blood. Explain about that. You know, so uh, my, my, like uh, all he got to do, like Chris said, is come back. At this point, come on back. He actually will help if he came back, man. Mm-hmm. Hmm. You know, people always see me, so I can't stop them. But if niggas see me, it's going to be like seeing Jesus damn near. You feel me? You know, you know, <laughs> yeah, we ain't nobody see. seen him. You know what I mean? And if he came back, he would help. So we definitely would love for him to come back mm. to help because he's more of an asset than a liability. That's true. I mean, I can agree with that. Mm-hmm. So, I mean. When's the last time y'all talked? Man, um, I talked to him in like 2011, and I told him I'm gonna punch the protein from his lips. We're talking about my mama, because he said something about you know he said that shit about my mother. Yeah. I said I just want I just want a one on one. That's it. You know what I mean? And that's when Lil Quinn was Lil Quinn 20 now. See what he done did is this. He done stayed away to where like the kids. Mook was 11. Lil Quinn was 11 when he did. Now you done let Lil Quinn. They 20 now. Now they. They got it. They outside. Yeah. You know? I'm like, man, I'm gonna bring him back. Lil Quinn, like, I'm gonna tear his head off. So he got to look like he he got he, you know yeah. he need to come on back because he ain't getting no better for him. And ain't gonna change. You dig what I'm saying? Hell he yeah. done let them little kids get big. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. He ain't forgot. Yeah. Lil Quinn tripping about his grandmama. Even if I let it go, he's still on it. So he ain't ain't nobody gonna do no murder type of thing to him. You got to come back, get punched in the mouth at Alamo Park, and move forward. Hello. <laughs> Words from a real nigga. But oh yeah, man, I was glad you had y'all come through, bro. Oh, man, definitely a blessing, man. Two Frisco yeah. legends put on for the, the whole city at one point in time and still doing it. So yeah. you got you got a distribution company. It's Done Deal Digital Distribution. Done Deal Digital Distribution. I think I'm a done, done Deal Digital. Deal. Done Deal Digital. <laughs> I, I'm, my, attempt is, my attempt is to compete with Empire. My attempt, I have to get my shit together because guys, he's on Forbes list. Right. But I'm not really, um, I'm just, I'm really trying to figure out the, the digital side of it because that that's where it's at. So it's like, uh, basically, they, you making money for free. I mean, if you sign an artist to the digital label, but me being an artist, I don't want to sign nobody and deal with not paying them their money. Cause it's not saying Gazi doing nothing wrong, but it's other people who run digital companies. I won't say no names. Uh, it's not Gazi. You dig know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. two other people. You do your homework. <laughs> one of them from our neighborhood, and one of them is another dude. Another dude, but. Mm. They could hide money. Mm-hmm. You dig what I'm saying? Yep. So I, I don't want to get caught up in, you know, being a con artist either. You dig right. what I'm saying? And withholding information for a dollar. So mm-hmm. I'm really trying to modify Done Deal Digital. Only artist to sign there is me. That's it right now? Yeah, just me. Yep. That little lax? No, Lil Quinn signed a burner. Oh, yeah, you did say that. Yeah, yeah. Lil Quinn is signed a burner. He, I, you know, I don't even want to deal with his mama. His mama is my issue. She just <laughs> matters. She's where Chris from. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, nah, only because uh, it needs to be developed correctly. You right, know right, right. But I, I do, I do have the platform. If somebody just want to jump aboard and and deal with me, they can. They gonna get their percentage. We just gotta look at the board together. It's it's gonna you're not just gonna sign as no artist to me. You are gonna be an executive too. You dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm not just gonna be telling you. Uh, Count it up and giving you no check. So, you know, but I do have it though. Oh, okay. You want to sign? 
Man, I ain't, I don't make yeah, music, man. Yeah. You, can, you can sign me though. You can do your DJ Black Market. Yeah, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Later. <laughs> right on. Keep it on. Right on. <laughs> Black, you got something going on too? You got a uh really me right now. I'm just still doing the uh, merchandising thing, man. Just just pushing it. You know, we got a big Latino foundation, man, fan yeah. base, and they've been eating it up. So I really mm -hmm. been into trying to do that branding thing, branding this 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 ruthless by law line and and really, besides that, just doing a lot of licensing deals, man. Keep getting these songs and these play song placements in movies and DVDs, you know. So it's money in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the we've been doing a lot big. of stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. We linked up with LRG, did some stuff. Uh, so Fresh Clothing, we linked up with FTC and uh, also um, uh, Quantum Skateboards and all them. So Quartet, I mean skateboards. So we've been doing a lot of stuff like that and. One of the movies just dropped, Green is uh, Gold, uh, on Netflix right now. They got our Bama weed in it. So, yeah, I'm just doing a lot of stuff like that, man, just trying to collect them chips. So y'all still making money off of Bama weed? Yeah, man. Making the, the weed. The weed made mortgage. a resurgence. <laughs> the weed, like mortgage. what Bernie that, made you know, the, with the weed, the weed made a resurgence. Yep. Yeah. I've been yeah. seeing Chris Wiggling, too. You dig yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, all the little, the whole little weed circuit, man. Well, that, that's, that's how I eat, really. You know, any type of little cannabis shows, concerts, and all that is... It's kind of like, you know, we get involved in it. So, you know, every 420, man, that digital Ooh. be flying up. So <laughs> Crazy. The check get nice, you know, around 420. <laughs> so appreciate I ain't, it. I ain't mad. We deserve that. <laughs> it's like your personal holiday. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly. hilarious. So, yeah, it's lovely. Hey, y'all talk to uh, JT. He had got shot not too long ago, man. I, mm -hmm. And I see he's still moving around, but. Yeah, he's, he's doing he, good. Like he, he's doing he feeling good. better. I ain't talked to him. I ain't seen him. Yeah, I thought he's doing better. That's yeah, what's up. I, I talked to him through text. I ain't talked to him personally. Yeah, he's doing better. Yeah, he's doing better. He got shot in Atlanta, and thank God that he's okay. That's what's up, man. Mm -hmm. Thank y'all for coming. Yes, I'm sir. I'm DJ Black Mark, Shay Diddy, San Quinn, Black Sea, Street Life Series, man. Thank you. No way. Woo-hoo.